Hey guys, a very good morning to everyone. It's almost 4.15 in the morning. Uh, yes, I am an early riser. I usually wake up by 5 a.m. I'm a huge Robin Sharma fan and I follow his 5 a.m. club rituals. Uh, but I guess I'm up a little early today because I'm very excited to make my first ever black coffee vlog. Uh, black coffee is one of my favorite beverages and uh, I've been meaning to do this vlog for a very long time. Just never got the right opportunity. But uh, here I am at 4.15 in the morning making a black coffee vlog. So I have to wear a cap. Uh, my hair is a little fuzzy. So I think a cap is the perfect solution to make this video. So here's the coffee that I'm going to be reviewing today. It's called the Majaz Coffee Roasters. I hope you can see it properly. Uh, it was gifted by a friend uh, who bought it from Ethiopia. It's 100% Ethiopia Arabica coffee. Uh, it's in powdered form. Uh, as uh, it says that it is suitable for every type of brew. You know, that is possible. It comes in a zipper bag, which you can open and just reseal it. Oh, you can open it like this. Oh wow, that's how the coffee looks. Wow, it's pretty dense smell. Hmm, it smells a little fruity for some reason. I mean, I thought it would be a dark roast, but uh, as you can see, I don't know whether you can. Uh, it's a little light brown in color. So I'm assuming it is light to medium roast, maybe. So here is how I can seal it back. So let's start by making a cup of coffee. So before I start making my first cup of coffee for the day, uh, I'll give you a little bit of a brief about the kind of coffee equipments that I own. Uh, first and foremost, I have uh, the espresso machine along with uh, a cappuccino tank, milk tanker along with it. You can even make cappuccinos or lattes in that espresso machine. Uh, the second one which I have residing at home is the pour over cup. Uh, I've been very, very intrigued by this pour over thing because uh, somehow, you know, the, the same coffee just tastes a little different when you are brewing it in a pour over rather than brewing it in an espresso machine. I feel uh, the acidity of the coffee, it nullifies to a great extent when you use a pour over thing. Uh, the third equipment I own is a French press, of course, which is residing in my office. And the fourth one is an espresso machine, uh, which is also residing in my office. Uh, I'm pretty finicky about my coffee, uh, so I usually end up buying uh, coffee beans, uh, roasted dark roast or medium roast coffee beans. And every morning uh, I have a freshly brewed coffee, like I, I ground the coffee every day so that I get that freshness out of the coffee. Uh, at home it is fine, uh, you can always, uh, you know, you have the time in the morning to brew your own coffee. But it gets a little difficult when you're at work, so I prefer using either an espresso or uh, just carry some extra you know, ground coffee to office and use the French press. So this is my espresso machine. Uh, as I said before, you can make uh, an espresso, a cappuccino and a latte. This is a tanker which is usually meant for milk when you're having a cappuccino. But since I don't take milk in my coffee, I usually fill it up with uh, water. There is a tank right at the back as well where you fill in the water which is meant for your espresso shots. Uh, you get this coffee holder in this along with the cup. So basically two sizes of cups uh, come along with it. This is a two cup uh, coffee maker. Uh, the one cup I don't know I've lost it somewhere. This is the scoop that comes along with it so you can just scoop cup of you can just scoop the coffee 
and place it inside and uh, just lock it like this and place it right over here uh, I'll just show it to you how it's done so as you can see just uh, open up this coffee take a scoop of it and you place it right into this cup scooper you pound it properly so that uh, you get that consistency of coffee there is a lock attached in this uh, device you place it right over here and voila you're ready to have a cup of coffee So when all these three lights uh, at the start they are usually blinking so when they stop blinking it means your coffee maker is ready to make a cup of coffee I usually do a double shot of my espresso coffee first so it's something like this That's very good. After that, I usually go for one click of cappuccino. is ready hey so my coffee is ready uh, I don't know whether it is quite visible to you but uh, the coffee is not exactly black in color because the coffee powder as I mentioned before was a little was a little on the light brown side so the coffee itself is a little light brown so I'm assuming uh, they must have used maybe like a light or a medium, it must be a light or a medium roast. Here we go, my first sip. Hmm. It's an interesting flavor. I'm pretty sure I've never had this kind of a coffee before. It's pretty similar to its smell, which was fruity. Uh, it has no signs of being uh, smoky or woody in flavor as well. Uh, the aftertaste, you get like uh, that, that really strong sense of uh, a fruit, uh, something like uh, a sour grape. Uh, it's, it's an interesting, uh, it's a very, very interesting flavor. And I'm just very intrigued by the smell of this whole thing. Yeah. It, it, smells very refreshing you know you wake up to the smell of wine it's, uh, near maybe it's like uh, you're sleeping near a vineyard you can just you wake up to the smell of grapes maybe a little fermented a little sour grapes hmm it's a it's a very interesting uh, flavor of this ethiopian coffee uh, it reminds me a little bit of uh, the blonde coffee uh, that Starbucks has come out with it's very very mild it's uh, it's very mild for me so in case if you are uh, a mild coffee drinker I think you'll definitely love this but 
any which place, even if you drink, if you drink like a really dark roast like I do, I think it's really worth a try. It's something very very different. Uh, as I said, uh, it's very very light, so it really doesn't hit you instantly. But uh, I think once I consume this entire cup, it will take its time uh, to get that caffeine kick into my head. So yeah, here it is. Hmm. The more that I consume it, uh, like I get that slightly smoky aftertaste in this coffee, which I usually love. Like I love uh, the smoky flavors of coffee. It it gives that. Uh, that sense of you know that intense smell of uh, fruit and when you taste it as well it gives you that nice fruity flavor it, it's actually a very very fresh cup of coffee um, yeah i think uh, i think it's definitely going to make my day well as I am enjoying this coffee at uh, roughly 4.45 a.m. I would like to give a big shout out to my friend. Uh, it was so sweet of you to get this, uh, this coffee for me. I love trying different coffees, uh, especially African coffees, uh, which I haven't tried that much as much as I would have liked. I usually you know, either go for South American coffees or Indian origin coffees or the North American coffees. Um, so I think uh, the African ones have only tried uh, maybe the Kenyan rose so it's, it's brilliant like uh, I think uh, this coffee powder is probably going to last for maybe a week or 10 days because I'm going to be consuming it every morning it's my it's my morning drink for the next few days for sure and, uh, and once you start consuming it a little more it starts to like get your taste buds going and uh, yeah, it's, it's, it's very interesting, like uh, I'm, I'm really liking that fruity flavor uh, which is, you know, which is coming at the end along with that slight smoky flavor as well. Yeah, I think I should give it a try to light roasts too because I've always like uh, preferred having a medium or a dark roast. But uh, yeah, I think light roasts are not bad, uh, especially if I'm consuming coffee so early in the morning and with the weather that we have here in Bombay. Uh, I really don't want to get any acidity inside me, so yeah, light roast could probably work for me. Well, thank you so much, friends, for uh, taking the time out and watching this video. I can assure you that a lot more coffee videos are going to be coming up on my same channel as well, along with uh, the residential interior do it yourself videos. Uh, so just stay tuned. And uh, do let me know in the comment box uh, how do you feel uh, about uh, black coffees and uh, if you want me to try any particular set of black coffee, if you want me to review any particular set of black coffee, do put it in the comment box below and I will be more than happy to make a video of that review.